So in this problem we're going to look at how we can deal with um, doubling time. You actually deal with half-life the same way except that would be decreasing. We're going to talk about when it's increasing. So we have an investment that has a doubling time of 13 years. So first thing we're going to do is find out what an investment of $100 would be worth in 10 years. And then we're going to find out what's the annual or effective rate. Uh, what would the rate be if we just made it? What, is, what percentage are we gaining each year? So this is going to be an exponential model and it turns out if we use this form a b to the t is a really slick way of dealing with doubling time. Um, so I know that I'm going to start off with a hundred dollars and I know that it is going to be doubling and then here's what's really neat. It doubles every 13 years. So I want to make my function so that every time I put 13 in for an input or 26 or a multiple of 13, I multiply by another 2. So I'm not going to make it to just t because that would mean t would have to be in units of 13, which is awkward. So what I do is I'm going to make my exponent t over 13. Because now every time I put a 13 in, 13 over 13 is 1, I multiply by a 2. 26 over 13 is 2, I multiply by two twos. So this model handles doubling time of 13 years. If it was a half-life of 13 years, I would have done one half to the, th to the t over 13. So to do 10 years, I got 100 times 2 to the 10 over 13, which is about, so, and I just want to do this because it's important how we put it into our calculator, times 2 raised to the, now you got to make sure you put the exponent in parentheses, 10 divided by 13. And enter. And we can round to two decimal places because we're dealing with money. So it's worth $170.44 roughly. Okay, so it's not quite double because it's not quite 13 years. So that makes sense. Now, the annual yield or effective yield or the annual rate is what percentage we're gaining each year. To find that, what you need is the base of your exponential. The base is what's being raised to the exponent. So for us, it's actually that 2 to the 1 over 13. It's not just the 2 because that it's not doubling every year. It's 2 to the 1 over 13. So basically we just remove the t. Now what we're going to do with that, that's our base. And so all you got to do with your base to get your rate is subtract 1 and multiply by 100%. So, we're going to do this one together in our calculator. So 2 raised to the 1 divided by 13. And so there is the growth factor. That's the annual growth factor. So we subtract 1. And we multiply by 100 to turn it into a percent. And I'm going to go to three decimals, so 5.477 percent is what the annual rate would be in order to have it double every 13 years.